Hi guys, welcome back. This is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner and I want to welcome you to the Spellbinders July 2021 Club's Blog Hop and Giveaway. This is a blog hop, but you know me, I have to do a video to go along with it. So when you're done watching the video, click on the link to the blog down below and hop along. There is a giveaway and there are details on the blog post and I'll share a little about that in just a couple minutes. If you saw my recent July 2021 Spellbinders Large Die of the Month and July 2021 Glimmer of the Month videos, you already know that I had a bunch of fun playing with these new kits. Well, for today's hop, I made a couple more cards combining these kits with some other Spellbinders Glimmer plates and foils that I already have in my stash, and they turned out fantastic. So for today's video, I'm going to make a couple more cards using this month's Large Die of the Month and Glimmer of the Month kits from Spellbinders. The large kit of the month is the Mini Slim Nine and Nested Card Creator. And it includes a ton of dies. And then we've got the Glimmer of the Month that has several of these um, basically dotted lines to go around the borders. So to start off with, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of the other dies that I'm wanting, one of the other glimmer plates that I'm wanting to use. I absolutely love this one, the Glimmer Gift Border. You probably saw the card that I made for the Glimmer of the Month Club video. I'm also wanting to use this older one. Actually, both of these are a little older. This one's August 2020. It looks like it was a past Glimmer of the Month, and it is the Have a Crafty Day. So after multiple attempts to do what my plan was, I finally got to a point where I'm actually going to get it to work right. So I'm starting off with that packages, glimmer plate, and my rainbow foil. And I am going to go ahead and um, tape that down to the center of a card panel that's cut out using one of the nested dies in the, in the large die of the month kit. This is from the largest die that cuts out the scalloped edges in the large um, large die of the month kit. Now this is actually some of the extra that was left over from when I cut out that shaker window in that large die of the month video that I released last week. Okay, so I've already got my foil on here. Let's go ahead and put it on the platform. And set the timer for 15 seconds. It was already heated up. And I have it set on high so that hopefully I can get full foiling. I have been having some issues. So I'll go ahead and run that through my Gemini Junior. And let's take a look. That looks better be awesome if it would be. Okay, now that looks pretty good. So next I'm going to grab some gold foil and I'm going to put, the, put a ring of dots around the edges. Looks like I may need two pieces, which I've got. I've got some waste foil here, which is awesome. And this time I can put my machine on medium and have it at a, a lower time, so that's good. Okay, so that should, should be about right. Okay, now I need to make sure everything is lined up on my plate. I mean, on my panel, and I think it is... Take one more piece of tape and wrap it around the outside over here. I think that's about right. So now I'm going to go ahead and put that down on my foil press. And this one I have set at medium for 15 seconds. So go ahead and set the timer for that. Okay. 
and run it through my Gemini Junior. And most of the dots did well. Looks like we've got a little bit of issue down at the bottom and probably, I think it boiled over some dots. So since there were already dots boiled there, that's why that piece didn't work out as well. But that does look pretty good. Of course, I'm the only one that's gonna notice that piece. But I still need to go back and fix it. And what I'm going to do to fix it is I'm going to take this little piece of foil here and I'm going to put it over that spot. So let me line up my plate. Go ahead and get my foil press ready to go. And to try to make sure that this stays straight, I'm going to go ahead and tape down my plate to my cardstock. And that little piece of foil underneath and then put that down on my foil press and hit the timer and then run that through my Gemini Junior. And that's perfect. So I'm doing the same thing basically with another panel. This time I'm starting with the foil dots on the outside first. So I've got that on another panel and running that through my Gemini Junior. And this time I just grabbed a couple of pieces of foil and neither one were quite the right size and just put both of them on at the same time, overlapping. So it should be just using the outer edge on each of these. And then I gotta get the washi tape off. And that looks perfect for that outer edge of all those nice little glimmer dots and these pieces of foil are still pretty much good to go I only use the outer edge so that worked out pretty well so for the next part I'm going to also use that rainbow foil again this time I'm using this cool crafty piece from um, Glimmer Kit of the Month, August of last year, I have a crafty day. And I'm going to put that one pretty much in the center. This time I am going to just create a hinge. Tape that down and not have to go over the edge of that nice dotted foil. And this may be actually the easier way to do it. I tried too many different things that didn't really work too well. Okay, and uh, now let me get some of that pretty rainbow, and I think I'm going to do the same kind of thing that I did the la with the last one. I'm going to just cut this one in half, I mean the colors are not going to match, but that's okay. We are looking at some artsy stuff in here, so I'm just going to put some down under both sides. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and put that on my foil press and let that heat up. Since this one is a larger die, larger glimmer plate, I'm going to set it on high for 15 seconds. Actually for 20 seconds. And then I'll run that through my Gemini Junior. So let's take a look. Oh, that looks so cute. 
And that looks good. I like that. That is going to be so nice. Okay, so we've got those. Next, we need a sentiment. Which I think the sentiments are going to be in gold to go along with the gold edging. And in the have a crafty day, it does have a birthday sentiment. And I want to do the birthday. Okay, so we've got a sentiment to go with this pretty one here. That'll be incredible. So now we need a sentiment to go with our packages. I think I'm going to go with this happy birthday from the Everyday Sentiment set. I don't know if this one is still available, but there are other similar ones, so you can always try out one of those. I'm going to go with the gold again as well. And that's a perfect little happy birthday. Start off with cutting the little banner. So that one is good. And then I'm going to just cut out these others by hand. The heavy, I'll use my paper trimmer. And the crafty birthday, I'm going to fussy cut so I can get some of that detail. And that's going to look cute too. So I've already cut out a couple of card bases. These are six and a half by three and a half. So this is going to fit on there nicely and give us a little bit extra space. But I think that is a little bit too much white and I want some more gold. That's just me. So I'm going to use the largest of the dies that come in that set. The largest of the decorative dies. I'm going to cut out some gold foil paper. And I need one for each of the cards. So I'm just lining my die up on my cutting platform so I have about the right size. Now I don't actually have to do it this way. I don't have to use the die to cut it out, but I do kind of want that little bit of dotted and stitched detail. Laid side down. And I'm running that through my Gemini Junior. Okay, so this is some gold foil paper from Recollections. I think when I got it a couple of years back, I thought it was cardstock, and it's not quite cardstock. It's really, really thin. It also doesn't cut as well as I would like, but it's still very pretty, and I discovered I bought a bunch of it, so I'm going to start using some of that up. Okay, so let's see what this is going to look like. So we've got a little bit of white layer around the outside. We've got that gold matting and then we've got that crafty birthday. That is going to be just lovely. This time to try to help it cut a little bit better, I'm grabbing my metal shim and flipping my magic mat because it is starting to get a little bit warped because I've been using it a lot lately. I mean all I need to do is just Heat it up and it will go back flat and that'll be perfect. The important part is it keeps these flat. Okay, let me go ahead and run that through. And this time it cut through perfect without a problem. So line that up. Line the birthday presents up. That is just lovely. So now all I need to do is just adhere everything together. So I'm going to use a multiple of <laughs> adhesives for this. Mostly because with the different textures and the different um, 
you never know for sure what's going to hold. So for the foil piece, I'm going to go ahead and put that down using my dot liner adhesive. I'll just line that up on my card panel. Okay, now that looks straight. Awesome. So sometimes when it comes to the foil, it's harder for it to stick on there. But I'm wondering, should I pop this up? I think that would look real nice being popped up. So I'm going to use some foam adhesive. Just put my foam tape down. And you could just layer up a bunch of cardstock to get the same kind of effect. And I do have extra panels, but I also like the look and ease of doing foam tape. And since I want to have a chance to get it straight, I'm just peeling off part of the release paper. This is going to leave me some little handles. I'm also going to put some art glitter glue on the exposed adhesive on the back of the tape to give me a little wiggle room too. Don't want to use move them around too much though because it may show up, may might end up making it a little bit of a matte finish on my foil, and I don't really want to do that. So I think I've got that pretty much straight. And then I can pull off the release paper. And there we go. That looks pretty good. And since we popped up that piece, I'm thinking it's kind of redundant to pop up this one. So I just need to decide, do I want that near the bottom or near the top? I think I want it near the bottom. And, and I'm just going to use some of my dot liner adhesive again. And that looks pretty good. So now we do the same kind of thing for this one. Okay, so now, where do I want to put my sentiments? So I'll start off with the had a, just add some liquid adhesive to the back. And I think I'm going to have it go basically straight across. And then the crafty birthday, I'm going to have it at an angle. And then final touch is adding some pretty gems to it. And with all that colored foil, this pack is going to be perfect match. So with those last little gems, this is going to finish up my project for the Spellbinders July 2021. <laughs> Club Kits Blog Hop, and to celebrate the release, they are giving away a $50 gift certificate to three lucky blog readers selected from the comments on the blog. The giveaway closes on Sunday, July 18th at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. The winner will be announced in that blog hop post on the following Tuesday. The winner is responsible for I mean, shipping, cost, duties, taxes, that sort of thing. So be sure to check out my blog. The, my, the link is down below in the description. And then go and hop along and take a look at all of the wonderful inspiration projects that we've got for you to see. And be sure to comment on Spellbinder's blog post for your chance to win that giveaway. I know that you love all things foil and spellbinders. So here are a couple of links to a couple of different playlists I have on my channel. One is all of my spellbinders um, videos that I've done so far. And as I go along, I will be adding more to it. And this other one is my foil playlist. So take a look at both of those. I know you're going to find some things that you're going to just love. And again, as always, if I can make it, you can too. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.